How's it going guys? Welcome back. Apologies, I'm a little bit hoarse for this video. As you probably guessed by the thumbnail and the title of this video, we have got a new tractor. This is our new Case Maximum 150. It arrived a couple of months ago and we've been using it for a variety of different jobs so far. It's been agitating, spreading slurry, done a bit of road work with it. I'm going to give you an overview of the spec of the tractor and also I'm going to talk about some of the pros and cons, my opinion, um, on how I think it's been so far. A few of you had asked about that Case Maximum 125 that was out during the summer and the reason we had that was because our local dealership, Tobins and Cantwell, where we got this tractor, uh, lent us that to keep us going in the summer until this one arrived. So that was very sound of them um, and definitely was a big help. So looking at the tractor here, this is a Case Maxim 150. It's a 150 horsepower six cylinder tractor. It is equipped with a 16 by 16 semi power shift transmission, which we'll look at on the inside when we get into the cab. And it has a 50k gearbox. Um, it's full LED lights all around which is very, very nice. Um, it is front suspension and cab suspension, making it very, very comfortable. We got some split mirrors up here in the side, which will look a little bit more from the cab, but makes visibility of the rear and right down to the tires very good in the tractor. Uh, the whole thing is sitting on Michelin tires. So we got 480s in the front and there's 600s in the back. They're the standard tire that you get. Um, so we got our standard mud guards then with that width tire. If you go a bigger tire, you get a different mud guard. Um, it's a bigger full red mud guard. You don't have this black bit. Looking in at the back here, then we, we got beacons up on top, LED beacons. Very nice. Of course, 50k gearbox. So we got our air brakes. We have four manual spool valves, one of which at the current is, is plumbed in for the telescopic quick hitch. The agitator here at the moment is sitting on the tractor because I was doing a bit of stirring and pumping around the tanks yesterday. Um, as I said, cab suspension, front suspension, fairly standard, three, P, three linkage. It's got three speed uh, PTO as well. Your 540, your 540E, and your 1000. Again, lots of LED lights. Um, as you can see, you got the ones up top, and you got some down lower here, the same on the front. It's not the full 360, so there is actually a slot for extra light at the cab there on the on the, on the other side to get to brighten up the sides a little bit more if you want a full 360 but uh, we just have the standard LED lights so looking around uh yeah that's about the spec of the tractor I'll talk a little bit about more spec when we get in the cab but I'm going to give you a little bit of review of my thoughts of the tractor from the outside so far so a few little nice little things uh this guard in the front uh, that was put on by our dealer Tobins and Cantwell uh, very very nice well designed there's two little uh, pins we can just pull out here to drop it down out of the way because when we want to open the bonnet it needs to get out of the way makes it very simple uh, we didn't go for linkage or anything it's ready just to mount weights on it there on the lights here again we got our road lights which are your normal standard uh, uh, bulb kind of lights and then we have our LED work lights which are shining out a little bit more to the side obviously cover the front and right out nice and wide there's these little LED strips here at the bottom uh, which you can have on when you're on the road they are very nice it makes the tractor look very cool so that's the, this is the new design the Maxim that's come out in the last number of years it's probably out a while now but I, I really like the design okay case up here um, we'll open the bonnet in a minute but uh, again another an extra guard down here just to keep more dirt off the engine which is quite good that pops off pretty I haven't taken it off but I think it pops off pretty easy so just a quick look under the bonnet as I said our front guard here pops down real easy and you just uh, a little bit of a screwdriver or something you poke in to unlatch the the front and then it'll fly up and you have this rope here to pull it back down your um, radiator here on the front uh, these open up so that you can access to clean them off easier very very nice it does it does slide all the way forward i'm not going to bother opening that now but they just close in there just gives you better access there's guard here this guard comes off as well to get right in there if you do want to clean any dirt off it if you're somewhere like new zealand that's very important because birds will form nests very very quickly 
um, and again here up there you have your your coolant level your air filter again pops out here for blowing that out changing that very accessible this guard here that's keeping the engine a little bit more clean just a flathead screwdriver open two of them and that'll pop off very easy but if you're a general maintenance they don't need to come off you're just checking your your coolant um, your engine oil is down there you don't even need to pop open you're really just popping it open for the coolant and for your radiator and things like that but your oil levels and everything are, are outside it. you don't need to open the bonnet uh, we got our ad blue of course uh, our diesel nice little toolbox on the side just the steps into the tractor quite like um, they're very nice design there and it says case here just a little touches we also have our um, dead man switch on here so there's one in the cab and there's also one down here so if you got out of the tractor and you want to switch it off you can switch it off from the ground here uh, on or off from in the cab and outside the cab which is a nice little touch we have our uh, buttons for our lift arms on the back and for the PTO on the mud guard very very useful for hooking up implements or if you're feeling spreading slurry or whatever that you can um, knock off the PTO or turn it on from the ground and um, I like obviously all the the spools are all color coded we have green blue brown and black and it's color coded with the handles inside just all those small little touches making things easier a, a free flow return valve in here if you have something like a post driver you can open there I had my cousin's post driver on as well that was handy for that again here on the right side um, just a small little touch the air filters for your cab air conditioners on the side on the old one on our old 100 they were on the back I think it's a little bit better on the side uh, they look a little bit more accessible because you can stand up on the steps uh, and also just there's always more dirt at the back versus the side and more dust so I think that's a better job there on this side here uh, not your standard steps because you wouldn't really be getting in and out this side that much but the door does the door does open I know on some bigger tractors often this there's not even a door here your battery then is just inside here for hooking up nice and tidy uh, nice little design all your your levels for your hydraulic oil then and that is on the back same place it normally is on a case there's just a level here uh, probably looks low now at the moment because the tractor's on a bit of a slope leaning forward so overall outside of the tractor my thoughts I really like the design it looks very well also one thing I didn't point out but the back window is actually tinted so you can see the back window just that bit tinted nice little touch so yeah overall design on the outside I think it looks really really nice for like it's a 150 horsepower tractor it's a big tractor six cylinders but for 150 horsepower six cylinder tractor it's actually quite compact it's not huge it doesn't have a huge nose um, it, it, it's quite compact and very maneuverable um, I've had no trouble getting in anywhere compared to the 100 obviously the 100 small tractor and brilliant maneuverability on it um, but the 150 in fairness for a much bigger tractor still does very well a very tidy tractor I would say for 150 horsepower but she still has plenty of weight in her for pulling you know the tank and that the tractor actually has an automatic power boost so when it feels it's needed it'll automatically open up the engine to 180 horsepower. Right, let's jump into the cab and have a look inside. So again, it's a four pillar cab, so the door opens wide open. Um, I do quite like this design. Uh, I know some people aren't a fan of it, they like to have their side windows, but um, I do think it's, it, it, I do like it. I think the visibility is much better. Looking inside in the cab, small little touch. A floor mat, a case floor mat, so we can simply pull this out, clean it off and throw it back in. Of course the tractor is dirty because it's doing stuff. We got a nice seat cover on the seat. We have our buddy seat here then for our passenger, seat belt and all. So just sitting down in the seat, one thing I like as well is we got this little handle here that we can pull in the tractor from your, when you're sitting upright, you don't have to lean forward to grab the bar down lower. I really like that. 
Uh, we don't have our, our box here then as a result. We don't have the, on the 100 we have a little storage box, but probably not really necessary. So I, I'm, I'm rather without it. Cup holders here on the back of the Buddy C Plus. There's some straps here and down here to put things like, you know, I don't know, paperwork even. If if, if I was bringing Cow some Mart, I can put the blue cards in there and stuff. Uh, quite, quite handy, quite nice. So we got an ink cab light here. Handle then for your, on the side, if someone's in the buddy seat, which is quite nice. The front windscreen, full pane of glass, um, which I really like. Visibility very good. We got a sunroof here, plus a blind that drops down if, if, if it needs to be, if the sun is in your eyes. Plus this opens up. Um, it opens up, there's two, there's four, there's two here and there's two at the back. So I can drop it down at the back. Or I can drop it down the front and leave it open at the back. Or I can have it open completely. Um, nice, nice little addition for airflow. Looking up then, we got our radio. We got a couple of slots here for storage of different things. We have our air conditioning control, our lights. And these, this switch here is for those LED strips on the very front. And then here's our work lights and our beacons. Uh, on the side here then we have our dead man switch. Uh, I'm not sure what this switch is for. I think it's for something to do with the air brakes. Um, and then this uh, is for locking up the front suspension. We don't really need it, but if you had a loader on the tractor, you maybe you, if you're doing a bit of work, you might want to lock the front suspension so she's not bounce as much. Um, but that switch is there. So looking at the spec inside the tractor, we'll drop down our steering wheel here. Um, we got our dashboard in front as normal. We have our 16 by 16 semi power shift transmission. This is the standard transmission. It's been around for years, it's quite reliable. That's kind of where we went for that. Um, it's quite more expensive to jump up to higher one, plus it's not around as long, so it's not as proven, I suppose. Um, but this one you got, you have 17 forward gears actually, because this is a 50k gearbox, we have 17 forward gears, 16 reverse. Um, two boxes, a high and a low. There's basically eight in each. Um, we got our four spool valves, as I said, all color coded. Mechanical spool valves. Um, pretty much, yeah, our three speed PTO. Our spec in the tractor is fairly standard. Uh, you know, you got your four wheel drive, uh, you got your diff lock. Um, this button here, I've often asked uh, people say it's to do with uh, adjusting, something to do with the, the transmission. Your gears or how smoothly, I think, I'm not 100% sure. I've I've messed around with it before on tractors and haven't seen much effect. But if, if people know more about it, let me know. But um, I never really use it. Of course, this is just to um, flick between uh, some of your different what's showing on the screen up here. Now, one little uh, feature we did go for, which is an extra spec that isn't standard, is we have a pre preset engine speed switch. But then we got our standard armrest here. Then um, our controls for our linkage at the back. More controls here for max height, how smooth, and, and, and your speed. Of course, we got a little mirror here. That's for when you're hooking up uh, a trailer. You open your open your window and you can see your rear hitch um, through this mirror, which is quite helpful. Particularly with the air brakes and everything up there, it does reduce your visibility down the back. So that's quite helpful. There's a uh, bar here then for we want to put on anything, um, controls for any implements we might be pulling or GPS. As you can see there's our rear view mirror and our split mirrors. Very, very, very nice. You can see great visibility all the way down to the back tyre. You can see right down to the ground. And that's about it. Handbrake. Um, ever, everything's pretty much standard but a couple of little nice touches, you know the floor mat. The seat cover, nice little touches put in by our, our dealer. So I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of a review of things I like and don't like. I know I've mentioned some of them already. But I'm going to start off with a couple of things I don't like. Some of the things I don't like are pretty much all in the cab. Um, so first up is the radio. The radio itself is lovely. A uh, good radio, the Bluetooth on, it's great. It connects up your phone real easy. We even have a little mic here for, for talking uh, when you're driving, which is very good. But if you can notice here, it's it's kind of coming out of the of the box here, like this tractor's only a couple months old. And this happened after a few weeks, 
Um, and I know this isn't once off because I one two five I had. This was also coming out, and the actual plastic around the outside had come off. I had a two thousand thirteen, I think, or two thousand twelve Maxim one forty out for a few weeks as well before that one two five came. And uh, again, same issue. The radio was coming out. So this seems to be a common problem with these with this setup here that's been here for years on all the ca the Maxims and in, in many of the the case tractors. Uh, and this issue of the radio just popping out. Um, is a little bit of an annoyance and obviously it happens straight away so uh, that's a big area for improvement second thing is uh, time uh, there's no clock in the in the tractor um, now traditionally in our 100 the clock was down here on this dial here but because this tractor has add blue it now shows the add blue level there um, and the, they didn't put the time anywhere else of course your radio doesn't tell you the time the radio will be just flashing things saying this is the greatest radio of all time you know how they all are um i actually discovered after that this radio does actually display the time most of the time if you have your phone connected and the music is playing it will show the time but sometimes it doesn't but that's depending on the radio a different radio wouldn't show the time the third thing that i don't like again another small little feature but it's cup holders uh in our maximum 100 there are no cup holders at all in this tractor, there is one small improvement. There is cup holders at the back uh, in uh, on the body seat here, which is which is nice. The only and and that's very good. But the only disadvantage is if you do have someone in the tractor with you, and someone sat in this tractor with dirty trousers on them, if you do have someone in with you, you now have no cup holder. Now I'm sure you could probably get one that might maybe bolt onto this pillar here or something. But again, uh, just maybe some standard cup holders. Uh, in other places if you're going to be on the tractor all day doing jobs particularly in the summer and the heat you have air conditioning going you, you're going to want to be drinking water so you need to have a bottle with you that's just a little you don't want to always be throwing it down behind the seat because often if you have an old an old rag we always have a rag or something on the tractor for cleaning grease off your hands you don't want to fire your water bottle down beside that so they are pretty much they're pretty much the only things i don't really like uh small little things but apart from that I do really really like this tractor it's it's lovely um all the little things the lights the mirrors the small little touches i love this control here for turning on your lights so so nice it's a fairly standard spec tractor um we haven't gone for any extras we don't have the multi-controller armrests electronic spools you know big monitors or anything uh to upgrade to that i looked at it but it was a lot of money and i didn't think it was 100% necessary on our farm. We wouldn't really get the gain out of it that you would on other farms. So we decided to go with the standard uh, transmission, the standard layout, your mechanical spool valves, which is an advantage to going for them as well because a lot of them are probably a little bit more reliable. They're standard wheels, uh, standard spec. The only extra I'd say that we would have got is um, the, the engine pre presets, engine speed switches. Um, I'm not sure that it, if you are in the standard tractor, it might not come with all four. It might just come with maybe three. And the fourth one's an extra, but uh, we have all four. Just we don't have anything that needs four, but when we bought our last tractor, we only got two. And around in eventually, a good few years later, we wanted to, to have, we needed three, so we ended up putting in a third one. So at the moment, we need three, so we put in four just in case. It's better to have them. Plus the advantage is you don't have to uh, unplug the quick hitch when you're hooking up something that does need three, like the tanker. Let's start her up. Gonna open this up here and let's see what she sounds like. Sir, with our full lights on, um, I've actually one of the one of these lights has just gone. Um, maybe there's a small wiring issue, but uh, I dear I dear just said uh, whatever it's up, they'll, they'll sort that out again. Um, it's probably just something small. With the lights on it, obviously it's bright outside. You know, beacons. The lights on are class. 
Uh, it says the tractor is in neutral. If I put it in forward shut, it will say forward and back and neutral again. That's our four wheel drive, our lights, our handbrake is a handbrake's on. So four wheel drive is always on when your handbrakes are on. When your handbrake's on. If I take your handbrake off, those lights go off. Um, so we got our, our RPMs, our engine temperature, our diesel tank. She needs diesel. Our add blue level. And then we have our PTO speed, or if I flick the switch, uh, arms at the back, the linkage, the height. And then you have your speed here. Get her right up to our 50k. Our hazards are over here in the front. We got our wipers, our indicators, lights, our forward and back shuttle. We have our adjustable uh, steering wheel. Quite nice steering wheel, it's very comfortable in your hand. And that's it. Nice little keyring here, the lads had made up. Tobin's and Cantwell, case. So yeah, overall, uh, very, very happy with the tractor. Perfect for what we want, uh, plenty of power. There's nothing I'm gonna come up against now that, uh, you know, I won't have enough power for what the work we're doing. It has no trouble with the tanker. The two and a half thousand gallon Abbey tanker with a seven and a half meter trail shoe, it hardly even knows it's behind it. It's perfectly comfortable with it. Uh, yeah, I've been on the road with it too. We brought the heifers home, so I was bringing them at uh, the 50k gearbox, very, very nice. It, it was a huge advantage when I was driving those longer distance up to the country rear. P plus, uh, the suspension tractor is very, very smooth. So smooth. You got your cab and front suspension. So on our farm, uh, we've always had our main tractor, which was our Case Maxim 100, our JCB 3CX, which are, does our loader and digger work. And then we used to have a an old tractor, a uh, Zetter 6718, that used to do a bit of scraping around the yard. Uh, but the last number of years, that's been out of action. So it was mainly just our 100. So the plan was, uh, we were going to trade in the 100 for a bigger tractor, because we needed a bigger size for the new tanker and agitator. We were thinking of getting a maybe a good second-hand 70 horsepower tractor. But with the price of everything, price of second-hand tractors has gone crazy. And they didn't seem to be able, looking to get anything that was suitable at a decent price. And it, it looked better that we should probably be keeping our own 100 rather than trying to get a 70 horsepower tractor. And then you'd have at least two decent tractors on the yard. During the summer, we were very lucky because we got Tobin sent us out uh, the 125 uh, to keep for the summer. We had the opportunity to run the two tractors and see what it was like and we found for the workload that was there and for the amount of people that are on the farm, the two tractors was working quite well. Just the size of the farm it is now. Um, before that, we found you were kind of waiting on the tractor, whereas we had enough work, particularly during the summer, to keep two tractors going. Now we have the tractor, we still have our Case Maxim 100 and we have the new 150. So that's all for today, guys. You hope you'll see this tractor in action over the next few months and a few years. Um, thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And leave a comment below here on your own thoughts on this tractor. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.